give us a sense of the competitive environment here and uh, how Alibaba is trying to survive in it. Can you name a tool that can outsmart the smartest AI out there? That's where Sense comes into play. Time's latest creation, Sense Nova 5.0. It's like a computer that can write stories, solve puzzles, and understand pictures even better than ever before. How cool does that sound? This could change everything in the world of artificial intelligence. Sense Nova 5.0 is giving GPT-4 a run for its money, showing off its skills in writing, thinking, and seeing things in a whole new light. So, they put Sense Nova 5.0 and GPT-4 in a game. And surprisingly, Sense Nova 5.0 won. It's really good at solving math problems and knowing common stuff. But GPT-4 still rules when it comes to chatting. Also, Sense Time made a smaller version called Sense Chat Lite, and it did really well compared to other small models. After this news, the company's stock price went up a lot, showing how much people care about AI getting better. This shows that more companies are fighting to be the best in AI. They're putting a lot of money into it to make better stuff. What big news about AI in China was talked about? Well, it's trained on a lot of stuff. Over 10 billion tokens. Plus, it can understand up to 200,000 tokens at once. Sense did better in almost all the tests, except for one about math where it got 61%. While GPT-4 Turbo did better, they showed a live game demo with King of Fighters. So they wanted to show off what Sense Nova 5.0 can do. It's really good at a lot of things, even gaming, and could be better than GPT-4. What does the talk say about the AI race? Well, it's getting really competitive. With countries trying to outdo each other, the real matter of concern is how Sense Nova 5.0 does in creative writing compared to GBT4. Well, Sense Nova 5.0 writes in a more imaginative and flexible way, using lots of cultural and literary stuff. But GBT4 is more strict and organized in its writing. Sense Chat Lite has 1.8 billion parameters. It does better than other models at size, like Google's Gemini with 2 billion parameters and the Llama 2 with 13 billion parameters. One thing is making sure translations are right, especially for models trained in languages like Chinese. Also, it's tricky when tasks involve complicated logic because even small changes in words can change everything. Alibaba Cloud just released a new version of its big language model, and get this, over 90,000 companies have already started using it. According to CNBC, Jin Grinzhou, the chief tech guy at Alibaba Cloud, is really excited about teaming up with customers and developers. They want to make the most of the big chances coming up with the new generative AI stuff. Alibaba Cloud just made a better version of its Tongi Quin Wen model called Gwen 2.5. It's way better at understanding stuff like reasoning, code, and text than the old version, Gwen 2.0. ChatGPT came out in November 2022 and got really popular. Well, Alibaba saw that and in April 2023, they launched Tongi Quin Wen. Then, in October, they made it even better. Now, Alibaba Cloud says over 2.2 million business folks have used Gwen-powered AI stuff, like TingTok, which is like Alibaba's version of Slack. They didn't stop there. The company also shared a bunch of new Gwen models with everyone, making them open source. Meanwhile, they made their model studio even better by adding new tools for AI development. Earlier this year, Alibaba made cloud services cheaper for folks outside China. They cut prices by up to 59%, which is the second big drop after reducing prices by up to 55% in China a while back. Joe Tsai, one of the folks who started Alibaba, mentioned how rules about using US tech are affecting China's progress in AI. He said China is about two years behind the US in this. Even though it didn't get much attention when it came out, Sense Time's Sense Nova 5.0 seems like it could change a lot of things in different industries with its super cool abilities. It's worth checking out its features and how well it works. 
And it's even better than the tough competitor, GPT-4 Turbo. This new model is pretty impressive. It's really good at knowing stuff, doing math, thinking logically, and even coding. In a live test, it did better than GPT-4 at writing creatively and thinking logically. It's not just good at writing and thinking, it's also great at understanding pictures. And it even beat GPT-4 in a video game called King of Fighters. Since time's models are super quick and efficient, they can figure things out faster than we can read. And since time's teamwork between devices and the cloud makes thinking tasks cheaper and keeps everything running smoothly on different devices. Since time has these cool machines for big businesses in finance, healthcare, government, and coding. They make things easier and save a lot of money, cutting down on costs by up to 80% for using big models. Big companies like Kingsoft Office, Itong Securities, Xiaomi Group, and China Literature Group say since time's AI stuff has really changed their industries. It shows how much China is getting better at AI. SenseTime is at the forefront with its super cool abilities and lots of uses. They're aiming to be the leaders in bringing AI changes to industries worldwide. Six months ago, most companies were only trying out one model, usually from OpenAI, and they mostly used it for regular stuff like marketing, coding, and helping customers. But in 2024, they're trying out more AI models, many of which are open source. Sarah Wang, who helped with the survey at A16Z, mentioned that OpenAI was ahead because they got started first. They didn't give a new market share for this year, but 46% of people said they like open source models better. Wang said every company they've asked was trying out more than one model type. As she mentioned that two of the most popular model types used were open source, Nama and Mistral. It's still early days, but we think it could show us what's coming next, she said. It seems like OpenAI, led by CEO Sam Altman, is working really hard to stay ahead with business customers. Last week, they put out a new blog post talking about some cool updates to their self-serve fine-tuning API. So, it seems like companies will keep trying out both closed and open source models. They can switch models around easily in the background, she said. So it's not like they're stuck with just one option, like with a database. But who knows, GPT-5 might come out and totally wow everyone. In the meantime, ChatGPT is trying to reach phenomenal levels. So do you think that ChatGPT will take over the AI scene? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time, see you all.